Hi, my name is Steve Haskew from Circular Computing. Thank you very much for uh, taking time to attend this presentation. I hope by the end you'll know more about our company and our, our remanufactured laptop products, uh, the benefits to you and your organization when you look at best value. We seek to look at, at the economic advantage, uh, what's in it from a sustainability point of view, the, the, the planet. We look at resource preservation, e-waste el elimination, and, and of course uh, climate change and the impact we can have on your scope three emissions as well as the Social Value Act and, and how uh, buying remanufactured laptops will enable you to achieve certain things within the, social, within the Social Value Act. Again, thank you for attending. I hope you enjoy it. I think we can agree that you use and buy what we make and sell. Uh, and furthermore, we wouldn't be here if we were not offering the market uh, a product that we felt and they felt was more than fit for purpose. So the number one question then has to be, what does best value actually look like for you, the intelligent procurer? Circular Computing is 25 years old. It is part of uh, an organisation that has specialised in reverse logistics. That is the, the collection of unwanted assets, particularly IT in this, in this case, focusing on laptop technology. And we remarket that technology into the aftermarket. And up until very recently, this was well known worldwide as a refurbished asset. However, in 2014, uh, we saw that a laptop technology was pretty much as fast and as thin as it could be, and decided to invest into a remanufacturing facility where we became the world's first secondary equipment manufacturer. We remanufacture assets from Dell, HP and Lenovo. And what we're able to do is to produce a piece of equipment that is comparable to new and we can do this at the rate of uh, 10,000 units per month. And as soon as we get consistent uh, three month output of, of this rate, then we have the room to scale up fairly quickly to increase our capacity. The factory was built around uh, the, the standard compliance with, with ISO 9001, 14001 for instance, um, occupational health and safety 18001, but specifically with regards to uh, the quality of the asset, we have a standard called ISO 8887. And what ISO 8887 does, it defines the standard to which a remanufactured device must be made. It separates the, the quality between refurbished, which is general second hand, and remanufactured, which is to an as new standard. To enable us to produce uh, the output in the volume that we, we do, we obviously need to be able to procure in the volume of the same model or SKU in the volume that we need to meet uh, the supply of the large buyer. And we have done this by building a, a very large network of companies from where we source our product. So over and above the quality of the product and our factory, what do we have to offer you as the customer? How do we align our brand values to what we believe you want? Circular computing is at the centre of the circular economy. Our intent is to eliminate e-waste and have adopted the promotion of reuse as a means of achieving this. And the way that we have engineered our business means that buyers of large volumes of laptops can get the consistent quality and consistent volume supplied to them so they can join in and have the advantages of the circular economy. All of our products come with a 36 month warranty and what this means is that all risk with regards to products of a grade that you're not used to is removed, allowing IT and procurement teams to effectively do the right thing. Typically, our products are 30 to 40% less than the cost of brand new, which if the whole of the public sector went to circular computing, would show a saving of roughly a billion pounds over a three year period. Additionally, we've worked hard to maintain carbon neutrality with our products and our organisation. From an organisational point of view, what we do is we invest uh, to offset our operational output, our scope 3 output if you like, into renewable energy programmes that create alternative and sustainable power sources for future generations. And furthermore, with every laptop we sell, we plant five trees meaning that the carbon sequestered over the life of the, of the asset is also taken care of. So when we talk about a brand for purpose, these are the things that you as a client can buy into. Change is everything. Change is the mainspring of evolution, the foundation of life on Earth.
but nature's symmetry depends on exchange. We strain the perpetual cycles by taking more than we give. We lessen the sources of existence for ourselves and for coming lives. Do we realize that we need to change? That we must reinstate ourselves into the natural balance? Do we realize that we have everything it takes to make a difference? That we can effect change? As our motivation to change grows, our longing for real change intensifies. Change challenges our capacities, our modes of development. It involves all our innovative energy. Change presents opportunities everywhere to every one of us. Our chance to change is now. Change for good. In nature, there's zero waste. Humans are responsible for the take, make, use and dispose economy, also known as the linear economy. And this just is not sustainable as there is only 100% of anything. And some rare and raw precious minerals are becoming precariously slim on supply. A circular economy uses what's already been made. So if you take the shortage of supply of certain minerals and then you look at the rate at which the human race is exploiting these minerals with the doubling of the population globally in the last 50 years it's not surprising that we have to figure out quickly an alternative solution to the consumer society in which we, we have become accustomed. August the 22nd, 2020 is the predicted date that human demand for ecological resources and services will have surpassed what the earth can regenerate in a year. So essentially what we're doing is, is mortgaging the resources of tomorrow to meet the demands of today, which is not sustainable purely by definition. And what this means by 2030 at current levels of consumption is that we're going to need two earths to fulfill the demand of consumer society. But if you actually look at predicted levels of consumerism, we're going to need four Earths. So one of two things is going to happen. Either from the supply and demand curve, demand being greater than the ability to, to supply, prices will go up. Or the divide between those that can afford and those that cannot afford, the digital divide, will widen far greater than it currently is, excluding large pockets of society from digital inclusion. With highly skilled technicians, and carefully crafted processes, we can bring the highest standard of technology to you in large volume. And our investment into our, our remanufacturing facility is an enabling in innovation crafted to ISO 8887 to protect you and help you identify the quality you need to make the right buying decision. One case study recently showing our flexibility and our ability uh, was a client that ordered uh, 5,000 uh, laptops uh, before the pandemic. Uh, we delivered the last shipment uh, this month in August, so we were delivering over the pandemic. Uh, the client saved in excess of £2 million uh, with us, is delighted and we're welcoming them back for their second order shortly. One day, we will wake up to find that the energy that powers the alarm clock came from the breeze through the trees the night before. And we will go to work that morning riding the rays of the sun. It will light our cities and power our businesses. It will warm our homes and cool our workplaces. It will reduce sources of conflict and fuel our economies. It will connect us all. It won't scar the land 
or poisoned the seas. The food we eat will be good for our bodies and good for the planet. And the weather that day won't make us worry for tomorrow. There will be more jobs and less disease. The sea level will stop rising. And species will stop dying. The question is, how do we get to that day from where we are today? All 7.3 billion of us. We start by deciding that beyond our doubts and differences, such a day truly exists. And that is something each of us can do today. We can make today the day we stop thinking that the changes required to get there are impossible and beyond us, and start realizing that they are not only possible, but what the future requires of us. We must stop turning from the warnings of science and fear and denial and instead turn toward the solutions and partnerships we need. We can make today the day we stop pointing at each other in blame and instead chart a new course together. We have never faced a crisis this big, but we have never had a better opportunity to solve it. We have everything we need to wake up to a different kind of world. We need our leaders to be brave and their choices to be bold. They will either remember us as the generation that destroyed its home or the one that finally came to respect it. We have every reason in the world to act. We can't wait until tomorrow. This is our only home. You can choose today to make a world of difference. When we discuss the uh, the impact that an individual can make with regards to combating um, climate change and, and assisting the climate emergency, uh, it's, I think it's important to recognise that one of the challenges is is physically visualising how this relates to to IT. One ton of CO two represents about 19,000 cubic feet, which approximately is the same size as, as a three bedroom house here in the UK. Now. Uh, one laptop uh, represents about 380 kilos of, of carbon uh, dioxide emitted at the production end. And so three laptops would represent the same CO2 that would fill a three bedroom house. That's the impact you make when you choose to buy new over remanufactured. As an organisation, we're independently audited as CO2 neutral also meaning our products to you are carbon neutral. We directly impact your scope three emissions and we can report to you in a certificate that you can embed into your environmental statements. This is achieved by our investing into renewable programme and carbon reduction programmes like clean cooking. And at the centre of our investments is my5trees.com which is a programme where we plant five trees for every laptop that we sell. And if the whole of the UK were to convert to circular computing products, over three years, this will amount to 15 million trees, which would be quite something. So we actually believe being part of the solution and leadership in such is the only way to align our sustainability values with yours. We're in the growth phase of our business and we want to work with organisations that share our passion for sustainability. Sustainable IT is available today. You can start making impacts immediately. And if you're the sort of organisation and person that wants to achieve this, then please do get in touch.